there welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Steffi I have a video here for you all my wired rings I made all my jewels this last week or so on and off I do want to show you guys the rest of my jewelry bag that will be the next part after this one after this video these are my nails from the Dollar Tree I love them they look so nice what do you think I like a light pink nude color with the swirls and the polka dots Hit that like subscribe and comment much appreciated let's get started i was talking about doing a um asmr but i just i'm not sure about that yet so this is the first piece i'm going to show you all it's earrings i made some chainmail earrings so i just put like the chain in between the loops i put the three loops in the bottom there this is one piece, or I should say two pieces, a one pair of earrings. I also made another one of these bracelets that I made a while back that have the flowers. This is all gold tone. This took quite a while. Each one of these flowers took a little bit, but I like them a lot. I'll probably be making a few more. I did all that too. Let me lay that out and fix it up a little bit. It's hard because they, uh, because they're jump mail jewelry. They're jump rings. And they move around a lot. Let me just pause. There we go. Hold up the camera for a second here. That's how it would lay out on your uh, wrist. It's pretty. So move that over here. I'm gonna back these up. Let's get into the rings. Actually, I'll just show you the three bangles I made and then we'll do the rings. So I decided to make some wired bangles. I did that a few times before. This one's got some purple stones. These are amethysts. They're real stones. Cold to the touch. I put some chain here so you can slide it on easier. I was thinking about putting a clasp so it's easier to put on. That's one. There's another one here I made with a pink stone and some little stones on the side and some chain. And my initial. If anybody's interested in anything like this, I can make your initial too. Just let me know. My information is below. I always link it below. And there's this third one I made here. The different type of clasp. I made the hook. I put the four stones and the gold beads in between. And a seashell. I might take this off I might look better like this what do you think let me know down below your opinion looks good with or without it right got there we'll start with the rings here I got this swirly ring that I made and I put a little blue shiny bead it is a pearl but it's not real pearl and I did some Valentine's Day rings there's a red one here, the silver wire wrapping. I'll put that on. Let me pause quick. There we go. This is my ring. I'm just putting this on so you can see. It's a nice red stone. Pretty. Really shiny. Perfect for Valentine's Day. There's also this ring here. Um, these stones, I forgot the name of them, but I know there's some kind of shell. That's like a greenish blue color. And of course, that's silver wire wrapping. I really like this one. Is it abalone, maybe? It might be abalone. There's this huge pink one here. I really like this stone. I think I say that a lot. I like a lot of stones. This one's a little bit bigger. 
This one I made for someone's birthday that I love dearly. So that's a larger one. It's a big stone. I love it. There's also this one here. I like how it has that foil inside. Looks pretty like that. What do you think? I might have to make a second part for this video. I didn't realize how many rings I made. This is the ring show. Here's one out of aluminum wire. It's just a swirly type. I got this wire from my lovely brother. Put that on there. I can't wait to make some more. Put that down. Let's show you a gold one with a blue stone. That one looks nice. I like the gold with the blue. I prefer green, but I do like the blue too. It's awesome. I think it looks pretty. Pretty cool. Okay. Moving on, another red one, Millefiore, Millefiore, did I pronounce it right? I hope so. That one's also a gift. It's nice for Valentine's Day too. Here's a simple green bead, not simple, but a round one with the certain design that I like where you swirl it on the one end gold wire wrapping I really like the way that green looks some of these are a little smaller some are bigger different sized and I made a rose one swirled it around Wrapped it on the sides that fits right here. I like that one a lot. If I could just stick a little diamond in the middle. Now with this one here, I swirled it almost twice. And I wasn't sure what to do. I was just trying to figure out something different. I just kind of hooked it there. And I figured I'd put a little ball on the end. A little different colored ball, pink and blue. It's like a gumball, kind of. So it'll look like that. Or I can wear it the other way. I'm wearing it like that for a second. I'll switch it this way too so you can see what it looks like like this. I get an idea. Well, it just hang off your finger like that. And move around but I like these I'm glad I started these with the chains and the ones that are hanging I know they could snag but they're still very beautiful and pretty here's a silver one with the really really shiny beads I really really like those a lot that's what it looks like on it's a little bit of a wire wrapping in the middle too Hmm, I should be wearing that one. I'll set that aside. There's another swirly one here. A little bit of a different swirl. If you hear that noise, it's this chain I'm wearing that I showed in the last video. It has all the nice little stones. So we're going on almost 10 minutes. Let's make sure I don't pass 20. I have a lot more here. This one is a heart with a little pattern on the side. Kind of looks like a crown. I made ones like this before. If you watch my other videos, you'd see. 
I was trying to make one that looks just like this. Let me move that over. I was trying to repeat this one. I wasn't 100% sure how I did this. It took me a little bit to remember and I figured it out. And I made one of those and that one is right. Let me find it. It should be right here. Yep. Just came out a little bit larger than the one I'm wearing. So I really like that pattern. It's almost the same as the one I'm wearing. Not the exact, it's a little larger, like I said. But with less wire, I can make it smaller and perfect. The way I like it, I mean. If you like it, let me know. I like to know people's opinions and what they think, what they like. This one's just a little swirly O. I managed to make an M. You could use it as a W too, but I was kind of look, uh, trying to do the um, heartbeat one, but it came out like the M. It could be a W too, like I said. A little loose on that finger. Really loose. That one swirled on each side. There's another large heart one that didn't come out too great, but that's what it looks like. I'll put it on the finger. Whoops, I just smushed it a little bit. Pushed it in too much. And there we go. It's a large heart. It's kind of like a statement piece. Maybe run some chain going from here to here. Or drop a little red tiny bicone bead there. Something like that. There's another red one. Valentine's Day is coming up soon. Well, not that soon, but not too far away. That's just like the other one. Not exactly, but same bead. Oh, the other one was gold. Nope. There's two silver ones. I thought I made gold. My mistake. There's some black ones here. I'll show you the black ones. It's an oval black one with the silver wire wrapping. I think I need a jewelry store by now. I think I made about a bazillion. Literally at least five to seven hundred rings in the last three to five months or so. There's a large brown one right here. Kind of looks like a cat's eye, but it isn't. It's just a plastic bead. Right there, it looks kind of like a cat's eye. Oh, look at that. I didn't realize. There's like a sparkly, shiny color to it. That's nice. I wonder who makes these beads or how they make them in the factory or wherever they make them. Hmm. That one pops out a lot. There's another blue stone here. Oh, I dropped it. Hang on. There we go. Ah, I like these blue ones. They're so nice. Imagine putting all of these or trying to put them all on my fingers and then showing you at the end. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. <laughs> Maybe just a few. Not all of them. Okay, here's another one with a chain. Hanging. And I wanted to put a little bead there. So I decided on the green one because I like green a lot. I don't know what you guys like. Let me know if you like the green. I believe that's a Mazinite or I can't think of the name right now. So with this one, I didn't really put that much chain as for the, a jump ring. I was thinking of putting the jump ring in between these two and connecting it. But it wouldn't be able to hang like this if I did that. I like that one a lot. It's cute. There's a silver aluminum wire. I'm trying something different, kind of. Not completely different, but a little different. It's 
that's what it looks like with the swirlies and back these up a little more and here's another pink one with the gold wire i like the gold wire the pink one so i can go like that or you can put it like this which personally i think it looks better going upwards not this way that's still okay lots of rings ring central there's another one of those really shiny shiny silver beads that i like that would be grayish silver colored it's just like the one i have here but the one i just showed you guys a little bit ago but i think i used less stones let's see yeah it's not focusing now there we go yeah, this has more. Seven. And it has five. I like them both. This one here is a black stone. Silver wire wrapping all around. I didn't take the other one off, but that one's nice too. If you like black stones... I gotta be in the mood for them. I like them, but now I'm like I'm more leaning towards the shiny, the pink, and the gold. But I like all my creations. I made a few today. This is one of them. I made a little eight in the middle. And then I hung this little bead. And that is. Uh, what's the name of this one? I know the name. I know it. Garnets. That's it. For January. That will hang like that, or whoever's birthday's in January. That would be your stone garnet. It kind of looks like a black or a dark, dark purple, but it's just a really, really dark red. And you can also wear it as a midi ring. So hang it on like that so you can see if you want, if you like it that way. It's probably better as a regular ring, but. I made that one today and a few other ones. I still have several more here. There's another black one with the black, or sorry, the black bead with the silver wire ring. And it's wrapped around a lot. Here is a strawberry quartz stone. And wire wrapping. I really like this one. goes really good with the nails what do you think I try it on both ways just to see I kind of like it the other way better but it's still nice like that too I never use this hand I should use this hand yes another strawberry one here it's tangled this one's wrapped on both sides all around it Look like this. I have really dry hands right now. At least you can see my nails and my my rings I'm wearing. What do you think? What's your favorite so far? There's so many of them. I made a zigzag one with a little bit of chain hanging from it. Just a little bit of chain, not much. Kind of like a connector. Just stick that like that so you can see. Use my other hand for once. That's it like that on the finger. Let's switch over here. This, oh, that's a little small for that finger. So this would be like a size six. I can make that different sizes. I think I might make another one like this so I can wear it. Could be a midi ring too. Under the knuckle. Put that right there. There's another one with the chain. We got going on here. Loops on each side. Put that on like this. It hangs down. 
like that. Or you can wear it the other way. Like if you were looking at my hand, it would look like that, obviously. That's my dry eyes hands. Washing my hands a lot. Okay, I'm going to switch this around. Let's see if we can make it in four minutes. So that's the chain. Here's a green one. I really like this green bead. Nice and sparkly and shiny. Let's put that there for now. Oh, too big there. There we go. And this one I did a little bit different. I kind of messed up on a ring, so I figured, oh, wait a minute, let me try something different. And I wrapped it on this side, and I opened it up to make it like a double ring. So when you put it on, it's like this. Show you here so you can see it better. So it looks like two wires opened up. I don't know what that looks like. It looks okay. It just looks like two rings. Or one with a big gap in the middle. And it's still blurry. There we go. It stopped. It stopped being blurry. Let's take these off so you can see. But I could just keep them on, right? While I'm showing you. There's another chain one, but I swirled it differently on the ends. And I also crimped it all around it uh, let's see there we go so you can see that design I made all along the gold and there's the chain that's how it lays out and the race against time I have to clean out my um, phone I need to make more space it's another chain one pick up please there we go that's just a plain one with the chain hanging. I think those are cool. I'm glad I tried those out back in, I don't know how long ago it was. This is another one I made today. The little eight or infinity symbol, if you see it that way. The little pink stone hanging. It's gold tone. I'll put that one on quick. And that's how it hangs. For some reason it's going that way because of my knuckle. And there's just two more left. This one's just got the chain hanging. It's a really small one. You can use it as a midi ring or for your pinky. So it just hang like that or the other way. The longest video in a long time. Okay, it's getting blurry. I'm going to take that off my finger so I can show you better. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. There we go. Yay. I'll lay it out, and this is the last one, I think. I don't know why it's getting so blurry all of a sudden, but this one's a smaller one, too. Gold, as you can see, with a little loop, and a tiny little pink stone. Let me just put that on right here. That fits there. This one's... Moving around, it's loose. So yeah, they're gonna move around because they're hanging, right? Maybe it's better to wear them that way so it hangs downward. But that's everything. I wanna thank you all for watching. Hit that like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know what your favorite piece is. All right, thanks for watching. Take it easy, bye. Till next time. All my creations and jewels. See you later.